So, there was something extremely special and heartwarming to say the least added into Fallout 76 over at the retreat that I felt the community would like to know about. As some of you know, this place used to be named the Treehouse Village, but was changed to the retreat when the Steel Dawn update officially released in the game on December 1st, 2020. Which in case you don't know, this update was based around the Brotherhood of Steel. But something else that was added here at the retreat within that update was a new unique character named Sarah Matthews who can be found inside this house here. Immediately when I seen this character in here, I was intrigued because of the vampire suit first off and how she was named instead of just being called a villager. So I had to interact with her. And, well, here's what happens when we do. You want to stop by for a chat? So as you can see, she's friendly when we greet her and we get a couple of questions we can ask her as well. Let's go ahead and start off with the first one here. Let's go ahead and see what she thinks about the Brotherhood. Brotherhood of Steel? I mean... Steel is cool and all, but kind of lame, right? Should have been like, Brotherhood of Terror, Brotherhood of the Night, like a Dark Brotherhood or something. Pretty interesting answer there she had for us. And it seems at the end of her answer, Bethesda probably added like a Dark Brotherhood for her to say, for a little reference to the Dark Brotherhood in the Elder Scrolls games, which, you know, were also made from Bethesda. So it doesn't seem too far-fetched. They added that little line there at the end, just as a little Easter egg. Anyways, let's go ahead and ask her the next question now, which is, why are you wearing a vampire costume? Can't you tell that I'm the vampire queen of the universe? <laughs> Wear what you want, and be whoever you want to be, regardless of what other people think. I absolutely love her response over that question, and I completely agree with what she's saying. I think overall her response was genuinely a great and positive message. Anyways, let's go ahead and listen into what she has to say about the next question we have for her here, which is, what do you like about living in the retreat? Living in a treehouse makes me feel like some sort of fantasy character. I'm happy to have found a place where I can be who I want to be. I do like to visit Crater from time to time, though. Rara and Gale are the best! So that answer we learned quite a bit about her. We learned how she's friendly with the raiders of some sort because she does pay the crater a visit from time to time. And it seems like she goes there mainly for Gale and Ra Ra because she did mention that they are the best. So I'm assuming she's close with them. And we also learned her love for tree houses, how it helps her play out her fantasy, which I think is freaking awesome. It's great to have an imagination. It's something sometimes people do lose over time, unfortunately. Anyway, so yeah, that's all the options we have to say to her at the moment. Besides, we have to go and well here's how she responds when we say that cool beans. so yeah that's everything that she says when you go to interact with her this character has a lot of personality to her i mean just asking her those few questions we learned quite a bit about her however i was still genuinely curious about this character i thought there was something more to her i don't know with her being one of the two named characters over here at the retreat the other one being Jenny Brown. I thought there might have been some kind of quest line involved with Sarah. So I didn't decide to search around the place for possible clues, like a note or something. I didn't find any kind of note, however I did find this writing on the wall above her bed that states, I'm critical of everything, but hold myself to the highest standard. SM. I'm assuming SM stands for Sarah Matthews, and this might have been one of her quotes. Pretty interesting quote, although still nothing I was really looking for. So after I got done searching all around this place, I remember her talking about Gail and Ra Ra, so I decided to give them a visit to see if they had anything to say about her. And unfortunately, they didn't bring her up whatsoever, which kind of surprised me because of how highly she did talk about them, saying that they are the best. So yeah, after trying that, I officially gave up in the game over trying to figure out more about her, and I instead, to be real with you, just decided to Google Fallout 76 Sarah Matthews and see if I could figure out anything about her that way. And, well, it turns out I did. Just went to the Fallout Wiki, and I found out this unique character, Sarah Matthews, is a special tribute to an actual team member who unfortunately passed away. She was a quality assurance tester for the game. So now I get it. I understand why she's here and who she is too. I was genuinely curious about this character because she's so unique. And I'm sure there may be other Fallout 76 players out there who have came across this character and was curious about her as well. After all, she did randomly appear in the game with the Steel Dawn update. And, you know, of course her passing away is a tragedy, but it's heartwarming to see 
Bethesda adding her in here with her own little house and decorations as like you know a special tribute to one of their team members who helped with Fallout 76 and obviously was someone close with them. And not only did Bethesda do all this for her, but if you go to click on her name in the wiki, I found out this page will pop up with even more info. And there's actually another tribute to her in the game. It's in the credits. As you can see, it reads, Sarah Matthews was a developer who worked at Bethesda Softworks on Fallout 76 as a quality assurance tester. Matthews passed away sometime after the release of the game. The character of Sarah Matthews in Steel Dawn was named after her, and a tribute to Matthews was included in the update's credits. You'll notice that they did add a special tribute. We're just going to have to wait about 30 minutes or so until it officially appears in the credits. I don't know how to really show proof of that. I don't want to drag this video on that long. Um, I guess I can show you from the editing program. As you can see, starting from here at an hour, I just drag it over to where Bethesda did add the special tribute at. It takes around 30 minutes for the tribute to show up. It'll appear at the end of the quality assurance list. They added a special tribute stating in memory of our friend, Sarah Matthews. And they did not have to take the time to do any of this whatsoever. So we can definitely tell how special she really is to Bethesda. She was more than just a team member, she was an actual friend. I mean, after I learned about this, this gave the retreat location and especially this character here a whole new meaning. I value this character and this place way more than I did before just knowing about these special tributes. It's, I don't know, to be real with you, I'm kind of speechless. It's heartwarming to see, to say the least. I remember Bethesda doing something similar to this over Evan in Fallout 4 Nuka World. He was a huge fan who unfortunately passed away and they decided to add him in the DLC as a special tribute to memorialize him. He's also an essential character as well if you want to unlock the beverage or achievement in the game. So you might have ran across him without even realizing that information. I don't want to get too much into detail about all of this right now though but if you'd like to further investigate this story over Evan, I'll leave links to information about this in the description. It's another heartwarming tribute Bethesda did like this with Sarah Matthews. And by the way, Erica Ishii was the voice actress for Sarah Matthews' character, in case some of you may be curious about that. Okay, so I guess to wrap up this lovely tribute, I'm going to go ahead and show you where you can exactly find Sarah Matthews at the retreat, just in case you may want to give her a visit sometime in game. As you can see, the retreat is located from Vault 76 down here in the mire. So yeah, once you get over here, an easy route to take to locate her house where she's at is just by staying on the ground and taking this awesome looking path over here. It'll be underneath some tree houses and bridges as you can see. It looks sweet under here for real. Which I gotta admit the lighting and the whole atmosphere of this place looks amazing. I think this is a great location Bethesda chose to put her at for the tribute. But uh, yeah, anyways, carrying on here, we're just gonna want to head up these flight of stairs and her house will be located right here at the top of them. Um, as you can see, she is currently sleeping at the moment, and if that's the case for you and you want to talk with her, you just have to simply interact with her, and that's when you'll have those questions that you can ask her. I don't know if Bethesda plans on doing anything else with her at the moment, but nonetheless, this is something incredible that Bethesda added in the game, and I had no idea about this for the longest, so hopefully this may be something new to you, and this gives you a whole new understanding for this character as it did me, but yeah. I guess that's about wrapping up this video, everyone. Remember, try to stay safe out there. Peace.